Welcome to Good Mythical More. If you wanna rub something on some meat, then you come to the right place. Uh, we got some meat rubs here. We're gonna figure out how to match them with the with the name of the rub. Don't freak out. But uh, we can hear your thoughts. And don't freak out. Don't freak out because everyone thinks about the kinds of things that you're thinking about. Actually, like most of the time. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, just because you're picturing everyone naked, that just means that you're, normal. you're nervous. Hey, and listen, in the future, everyone's gonna be able to read everyone's thoughts because of technology. And just because we have the special ability to zero in on your particular dirty thoughts and come to conclusions about you, it, it'll be like that for everybody in the future. I'm actually flattered. <laughs> All right, so we've got some rubs here, and we've got some we've got some some names. I think we should go through the names, and then go through the then sample a rub. Sure, you sure? <laughs> so we need to do the opposite of what I've got here, which I've got all these rubs here. Yeah. These these are the rubs. Yeah, There's six of them. You we're, put three three. We're gonna taste them. Markers gonna, on your side. We're gonna find out what they are, and. Um, yeah, I was I was grilling some pork chops the other day. You gotta I, have a rub. I was rummaging for some rub, and we were we were plumb out of rub. If you're if you're grilling your meat without rubs, like you're wasting your time. You know what? You gotta rub your meat. Listen, it it, it is what you, you're like. Oh, put sauce on it. Screw the sauce. Well, you gotta on, start with the rub, and the sauce is just a compliment to the rub. I the agree rub with is that. where the is where the flavor is. But I put um, I mean, in the absence of rub, I just put some salt and pepper, and it wasn't bad. That's a rub. You got a good. That's grill. a simple rub. It's a simple rub. That's yeah. what I did, and it was good. And you know what? Uh, even the leftovers are good. You know, yeah. you grill some meat, it's still good. If you rub it right, it still tastes good the next day. Rub you the uh, right okay. way. All right. Remember that song? So we got bone sucking Some sauce, sort of which I've, I've, had, I've had the bone sucking, uh, have you ever bone sucking sauce before? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Bone sucking sauce makes a rub. All right, here we got. Rub some butt. Taste of grease. Now we should be able to get that one because that one actually has an indication Grecian of what it might taste flavors. Like. <laughs> yeah. Bad to the bone, butt rub, and hot dirty bird. Yes, that does so say bird. Maybe a, maybe a spice, a spicy one that would be on chicken. Um, let's start with this one. Quick reminder: if you want to um, get the oh, are you gonna are you modeling this, Chase? Oh sure. He's modeling the Mythical Society cloak, which that's what's on display over there. Uh, put the put the, put the hood up. Um, if you want to join the Mythical Society and be eligible for this thing, you got to join. Look at that, it goes over a hat. Third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th in order to be able to get this. And then when they ship, it'll be cooler weather. You're gonna want this cozy thing to, to look all clandestine in. Mythicalsociety.com. Uh, Link, before you taste that, let me, oh, just, sick burn? let me just tell you that, you know, we actually wanted to go with a different actor for Link and Buddy System, but no one would accept the part. Sick burn, right? I mean, we did tie, so I got a sick burn that, you know, I'm not gonna say that I, I came up with these, but I am gonna say that I'm gonna mean it when I read it. I'm gonna mean it. Hey, Rhett, quit trying to make sexy father time happen. <laughs> I think it's sexy father time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know, what I said is weirder. It, emphasis, <laughs> emphasis on the father or on the time. It makes a big difference. <laughs> it's like sexy father hey, time. I don't, I'm, stop asking me to participate in your sexy father time. I don't want to be involved. It's amazing how that was your that was your first interpretation of that. I'll take sexy father time any day, but not sexy father time. <laughs> okay, there's more where that came from. Uh, uh, all right, so let's. Oh, well, if you're gonna, but to be clear, please also don't make that happen because that would be inappropriate, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you for clarifying. Ooh, that would be good on some meats, on a pork, on a butt. Hmm, now, none of these, none of that's for uh, hot, dirty bird. That's be for chicken. 
None of these are for fish, so that's making it more difficult. Except maybe the maybe the Grecian formula. Uh, <laughs> do you guys grill fish? Sometimes. Do you? Not usually. I don't I'm like I don't know why I'm intimidated by fish. I like a grilled halibut. Ooh. I like grilled fish. I just feel like so I good. It's easy I to know. overcook it. You got to you got to have you got to have it dialed in. And you got to you got to have a thermometer. I mean, you're not too too prideful to have a meat thermometer out there, are you? No. But with with fish, you know what's a really good thing to do is sous vide it. Or sous vide it. I want to smoke fish, but it just seems I don't know why it seems hard, but it does. I don't think this is for uh, bones. <laughs> not for bones? I think this is for butts. So uh, Rub some butt or butt rub. I, it, it's really hard to tell. It is. It has. It has a fair amount of sugar in it. And a lot of times you cook things. You cook pork for a long time, and if there's a lot of sugar on it, it'll. It gets. Sugar blackens and can kind of over blacken if there's too much sugar in your rub. Is that number one? Are you going? Does like it say a, number one? Yeah. This is um, no. How, why did I? I, did, I didn't do it right. This That's is number, number three. three. Okay. So now, now I'm gonna go with number one. This one looks kind of cheesy. Not that it would be, but you just go to the side, okay? Don't go right in the middle. Ooh, that's that's odd. That's tangy. Wow. And that's got some spice on the end. That's got some mustard in it. That's a kind of mustard. Full. Very powdery. That has a lot of uh, dried hot. mustard, and then it's got some cayenne Don't in it. you think, it. hot, dirty bird? See, I typically, I don't know, this one's tough. It's not Greek. I think it might be bad to the bone, because bad, it makes me think it's got a little spice to it. I don't know if it's Dirty Bird yet. We'll start there, but I just wanna let you know that um, Peter Jackson saw a photo of you online and used it as a body reference for the tree people in Lord of the Rings. Oh, take that as a compliment. Um, it well, wasn't, you, it was a sick burn. You look like your parents bribed your friends to come to your birthday parties as a kid. <laughs> Let's move to the next rub. No, no need to, no, I mean, there's no need for commentary. The, the burns just sort of live on their own. This was an orange rub with some blackness. That's not good on its own, but that would be good on some ribs. Got some kick to it. A lot of salt in that. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of spiciness coming through. I think this is this is a rib situation. Could be wrong though. I'm trying to match it up with what I know of bone sucking sauce. I feel like this might be bone sucking. I'm not gonna argue with that. I mean, we might we might change them in a few minutes. Number four. I got another sick burn for you. You know what? My nine-year-old cousin could dunk on you. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> that one. That one. That one was kind of. That one was kind of wet. How about how about this one? You're kinda the droopy. You're the missing link. No one ever bothered to find. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now this one's orange. It's like the last one. That's a pork rub. Sweeter. Well, it's yeah. got some spice to it too, though. Oh, it does. Woo! That might be hot, dirty bird. I could, I could, I could, I could put that on some chicken. All right. I think this guys, one is when you're grilling and you need a very good apron. I wouldn't recommend any oh. of the ones you wore in the episode, but boy, would I recommend this one that Chase is wearing. Oh, look at that thing. At mythical.com. You can get your own mythical apron. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a what, what do they call it? The octa spaghetti? The pot spaghetti? Pasta pastapus? What is it called? Pastapus, yeah. The pastapus. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Mm. Spaghetti puss. That, I mean, that's a good, that's a good quality apron. Mythical.com. It's, it's just denim. <laughs> now, this one's interesting. Thank um, you, Chase. That's got to be the Greek one. Don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> This is like Mrs. Dash. That's a taste of grease. Because it's, like got, it's got a lot of it, um, like Mediterranean seasoning in it. Ooh, that is good though. I like that. Yeah. I like grease. I gotta get some of that. You know, Link, 
They tried to make a sexy Link Halloween costume, but the manufacturer said it was too unbelievable. It's ironic that you're tall because your jokes always fall short. <laughs> now I made that one up. <laughs> I was like, boy, you memorized that one. No, it was on, it's on the sheet. It's on the sheet. <laughs> that was good. You had to look to see if, if, I, if I made that one up. Well, because you weren't reading it. That's right. And you said it so confidently. I believe, because I believed it. <laughs> okay, um, the sixth rub, it ain't over, y'all. Ooh, ooh, that's some chicken rub right there. It's got, um, what is that? That is a um, chipotle or a chili powder or a cumin. C you mean cumin? I said cumin. The longer your hair gets, the more your chin stays the same. <laughs> I think this is hot, dirty bird. It's not hot though. You look like you lie in your own diary to save your future self the embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, that, that, this is tough. You know what, actually let's do this. That, that, let's put that on bone sucking. Let's put that on bone sucking. Which bone number bone. was that? Number six is the last one we tasted, and that's the one I want to take home. Okay. Um, so we're gonna lock these in, and then one by one you can bring, bring them out for us, because I want to see the packaging. And I want to put it in my pocket. What order are you gonna do this in? I'm just very much confused well, they're myself gonna, They're gonna hand point. us. I'll just hand out the bottles, and then you can go from there. Okay. Okay. Well. All right, so. I, I think I, I feel pretty good about this. It's kind of arbitrary at this point. So, all right, give us number. We think bone sucking sauce is number six. Give us number six. We were right. Oh yeah, Rhett. Do that, you have any of this at home? No, I don't. But well, I just well, I'm gonna I, take I match one. the the flavor profile of the of the sauce. We're talking serious. And that'll go. That's good on anything. And their barbecue sauce is very good too. And they make a thicker version of the barbecue sauce, which. I like it a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, literally, it, it, it says it's great for, and then it lists everything, including venison and vegetables. Not a sponsor. I found a, a new barbecue sauce, Lily Q's, uh, and they specialize in like a Western North Carolina barbecue sauce, which I've always really liked a Western North Carolina because you got the vinegar base, but then you get the you get the tangy and the ketchup. You get there's a little bit of sweetness in there, like you're getting towards the Tennessee part of the uh -huh. world. Yeah. I recommend that. I've been on like a barbecue sauce buying and testing, tasting spree because I'm trying to zero in on what I like the most and then I'm gonna try to learn how to make it myself. Mm. You should you should give us a tour of all those barbecue sauces on. Uh, like an episode of Good Mythical More or Morning? The show that we make together? Yeah. Okay. Or the Mythical Society. Could do that too. Uh, all right, let's see number three. Uh, incidentally, this is manufactured in Raleigh, North Carolina, bone sucking sauce. Well, look at there. Were we right? Bad to the bone, nope. Bad so, to the bone. So we thought it was a butt rub, but it's, um, it's it, it belongs. Well, bad to oh, the we'll bone and here. butt rub is, hold on, no, so that's, it's, what? so what number is it? Three, right? Yeah, yeah. we thought it was, but it's, it's bad to the bone. So let, let's learn about this. Spice Lab cooking inspiration. This is some fancy stuff. Um, they don't say, they don't say what it should go on. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, no, it said it right there. It said pork, uh, pork ribs, pork butt, steak, and chicken. So basically everything. I, and I, I, I kind of agree with that. I, I don't think there's a lot of, you look at the ingredients in most of these rubs and it's like salt, pepper, dried onion, dried garlic, and brown sugar, and then some other things. It's like, yeah, it's like, put it on everything. Number five, give us a toss here. Are we correct? Because this is one we, we thought we were pretty confident in. Yes. Taste of Grease. Taste of Grease. Gustus Vitae, the taste of life. Handcrafted, dry rub. Now what do they say? This say, okay, they say eggs, fish, yeah. veggies, kebabs, and chicken. That doesn't have enough uh, of a, like a, bite in it to be on, you wouldn't want to put that on beef. So we got that one right. So we're we're two out of three. 
All right, so number one, we thought was bad to the bone. We we're definitely wrong about that, right? Yep. Because that's it, just some. It's rub some butt. Now this, so this yellow stuff here. Yeah, see, that's. See, we got, we got them, we got the two switched up. See, that's, that, that's that mustard. It's that South Carolina mustard. Carolina seasoning, busted with mustard, vin vinegar, and spice. That's interesting. It, that's a good rub. Let me get a little bit. Of more of that. Pulled pork, ribs, and chicken, reminiscent of the best barbecue flavors found at the roadside barbecue shacks of the Deep South. Ooh, yeah. I've never put um, a mustard-based rub. I've always just done the mustard-based sauce after another, another kind of rub. I gotta, I, I gotta take that home. Oh, I, I wanna take it home. Is there two? All right, you can take this one home, because I already, yeah, you already, we're already gonna, dipped we're, a bone You take three, up. I take three. You can take the grease, the grease one home. <laughs> Um, Number two, we still have a chance to get in both these right because these two were just switched. Right, so we said butt rub. We were butt right. rub, hey, we did pretty good. Um, bad Byron's butt rub barbecue seasoning. So the pig's butt is hanging out mm, on the back that's of this pretty, thing. That's pretty provocative. A serious product with a funny name. A grassroots seasoning was created out of a love for barbecue and barbecue competitions. Uh, here's the here's the one thing I just 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 if you're putting copy on products here's just one piece of advice for you if you've got a funny name yeah, don't, don't call it out let it be yeah. don't say a serious product with a funny name because then it seems like you're you, you're either apologizing for it you seem a little bit self conscious let the butt rub and the butt hanging out of the pig on the front. Stand on its own because it works. Now this is best by May 26th, 2022. Oh. So uh, can you remind me, um, you got if I haven't that. used all of this by then, on May 26th, 2022, remind me just to, th to throw this out. Yep. So we got that right. And, uh, and then finally, so, see someone's making a um, a reminder right now. Now in May 26, 2022, what what will we be doing? May 26, 2022. Yeah. Hopefully we'll you know, hot dirty bird right there. Be in a large group of people hugging. You know, maybe even kissing. I think that everyone's think here's what everyone's saying about this is after coronavirus goes away, everybody's going to be like super cautious and some people are still going to wear masks and the people aren't going to handshake anymore. The exact opposite is gonna be true. People are gonna be French kissing as PDA, a greeting. PDA all over the place. People are gonna be like, oh, you're my friend? Give me some tongue. <laughs> all right, so. That's what they're gonna be doing because I'm gonna they, take they this miss one. it so much. They Would, miss human connection. You want this one first. What's the, what's the next one you want? Hot, it, hot, dirty bird. Okay, so you want hot, dirty bird, and then I'm gonna take, uh, let's see, this one's very similar to that one, so. I th I think These two, I'll, I'll take either one of those. I want to. I want to try this. I think. Let me. Let me taste it again. Sure. Okay. You like the Greek, the Grecian, right. the Grecian Isles. I know what I'm doing tonight. Rubbing just some eat, meat. Just eating rub. <laughs> <laughs> eating rub. Cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive item, a secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th at mythicalsociety.com to be eligible.